Hello everybody, my name is Judge Er Nort. I'm not sure whether I just crashed my space engine. Awesome. Wait, I think I pressed F9. Haha! -ha! I think I... Wait, no? Here I am, back, 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 I'm back. Hello. Okay, so, that was horrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that out because, you know, bloopers should always be in there. That was scary. So what I just did is I pressed my shadow play, shadow record key and it also changed into the uh, distant camera mode and I, I got slightly convulsed uh, with what was going on. And anyway, hello, hello. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very, very bad. My name is Judge Ernaught. Judge Ernaught, if you put it all together. Yes, and uh, I haven't made any Space Engineers videos yet. Uh, in fact, I have not made all that many videos overall. But here's something I want to show you, uh, show everybody. I am trying to build a large ship production factory. And uh, the way I'm trying to get around, get to, to do that, is by using these awesome welders that are here Kodiak strut welder I'm not sure who is the maker of this mod but whoever it is he's an awesome guy because he made one hell of a mod basically this is just a five blocks long or six blocks long welder and uh, yeah you can get a lot done with that thing and what I've built is this basically it is one scaffolding crane thing for uh, one dimensional welding basically i need to add the floor and side welders but uh, i could easily see this thing turning into a fully functional capital ship production factory and uh, well without any longer jabbering and talking i'll just show you how it works basically uh, this is the gonna be attached. This is gonna be like the roof of the factory and uh, the way the reason why I have these rails here is because if I don't have gravity blocks and uh, gravity generators here uh, The thing is gonna wobble like crazy So I need to stabilize it a bit with gravity and also to aid uh, I have added the wheels even though they are not needed for movement, but they are needed for stabilizing the whole thing. And then I've added a bunch of gyroscopes uh, into this thing. After a, a prolonged uh, time of testing, I added a lot of uh, gyroscopes to uh, lessen the wobbling even further. Basically now all of the wobbling is gone, and uh, I'm gonna show you how what's the range on this thing. And the whole thing... All the welders are connected with uh, conveyors. As you can see, I've been using pistons. Of course, I could move this thing just by the, with the wheels alone. But uh, since this is going to be for capital ship construction, it's important that everything is connected with conveyors because you don't want to be getting stuff back and forth. But let's extend this baby fully. Uh, down there... There's also side extenders, so the whole welding platform can extend to the sides, which gives it quite a bit of range. Here you will see. And yes, my FPS goes to hell. And now you can see the whole thing growing. And uh, every single one of those blocks there, here and there, there are welders. In total, there's one, two, three, six, seven, eight welders on the bottom of that thing. I've tested it, and whenever it welds something, my FPS drops to like negative 9000, which is not good. But uh, hopefully, once the game gets uh, tweaked a little bit, or the mod itself gets tweaked a little bit, it'll get better. But uh, uh, I'm sure most of you who have played Space Engineers or dreamt of a capital ship factory... Well, if this design helps you in any way, I'm glad. I'll be sharing it in the workshop. Now I'm gonna shut up and let you enjoy the rest of the video. Excellent. 
actually, I'm not gonna shut up. Why would I shut up? It's my bloody video. I can't think of anything to say. Oh well, in any case. Yeah. I just got this idea to build this grain, crane, and uh, first 16 versions of it did not work. Uh, I first tried to make the whole thing work on single pistons, and uh, as you probably know, when you put a lot of pistons one after the other, they get very, very unstable, especially when there's a lot of mass moving on one end, so I had to make it four times the pistons, basically for up and down movement, and then Later on, I figured out that I could make the whole roof move, or actually add, it, add these rails and uh, make the whole piston thingy move. That way I got a lot more range into it, and a uh, couple of measurements that I've done, it's able to build at least half of that ship. If you're wondering what that is, that is the Dark Lord's Magnificent Ship Production Capital Cruiser thingy. And I cannot remember the name of that ship for the life of me. Shame on me. In case you're wondering, I helped uh, Dark Lord build the ship production part, which is like a tiny portion of that magnificent awesome ship. But yeah, this is it. I'm gonna end the video here. You guys have a good one and uh, keep on building.